children in our previous video we have started with cleavage of OH bond we have taken acidic nature of alcohol and phenol now today we will take due to cleavage of OH bond the second reaction that is esterification alcohol and phenol reacts with carboxylic acid acid chloride or acid anhydride to give ester if we take aromatic or aliphatic OH group that is AR or ROH with carboxylic acid in presence of acid the product formed is ester that is AR or RCOR dash plus water if aliphatic or aromatic alcohol react with anhydride that is R dash COOCOR dash this is anhydride group then the product formed is AR or RCOOR dash that is ester along with R dash COOH. OH bond will cleave in alcohol or aromatic alcohol. This H plus will go to O negative of anhydride and the product formed is R dash COOH that is alkanoic acid. Similarly, when alcohol or aromatic alcohol that is phenol when react with acyl chloride that is RCOCl, then OH bond cleavage H plus will go with Cl minus and the major product formed is R COOR dash or ARCOR dash that is ester. Now we will take mechanism of the reaction, esterification reaction. This reaction is common in next chapter that is aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid. So here we are taking the mechanism that is H2SO4 that is concentrated strong acid it is. When it is strong acid it will ionize completely to give H plus and HSO4 minus in its solution. This H plus or proton, it will react with carboxylic acid that is RCOOH. There is polarization of carbonyl group O negative and carbon will carry positive charge. This H plus will attack to this O negative and reaction is reversible and the product formed is carbonium ion RCOHOH. Two OH group are there on same carbon atom. So this product formed by protonation of acid is unstable. Now this intermediate carbonium ion formed, it will act as electrophilic center. This carbon atom is positively charged so it will act as electrophilic center and it will be attacked by alcohol that is ROH. This oxygen atom due to presence of two lone pair of electron will act as nucleophilic center. So this oxygen atom will attack to this positively charged carbon atom and the product is formed that is RCOOH and OH R dash and this oxygen atom which is having now three valency it will be positively charged then it is said to be oxonium ion now this oxonium ion in third step RCOH OH bond OH R dash this oxygen is carrying positive charge to remove this positive charge there will be proton transfer from this oxygen atom and this H plus will be transferred to any of the OH group that is having two lone pair each. So this H plus will go to the OH group and the bond formed is OH2 plus. Now this OH2 plus oxygen is again having positive charge. So the total CO bond will cleave. This, this is the part of carboxylic acid that we have taken. This OH bond is cleavage there. This OH bond will be cleavage from carboxylic acid part. 
and this was the alcohol group and H plus was shifted proton transfer was there from this R dash OH that is OH bond is cleavage here and from carboxylic acid OH bond is cleavage so in overall we can conclude that in esterification reaction alcohol will give H plus and carboxylic acid will give OH minus and the product that is removed as a byproduct that is water from this intermediate and then further we will get RC positive OH OR dash to remove the positive charge on, ox on this carbon atom oxygen atom will release the proton from OH group and the shared pair of electron that will move from O negative to positively charged carbon atom to form a new pi bond and the product formed is RCOR dash. This proton is released at, in the last step. This proton will further can be reused in the second step that is protonation of carboxylic acid. Carbonium ion is formed. This carbonium ion is further attacked by the alcohol. And then oxonium ion is formed. This oxonium ion will transfer this proton that is cleavage of OH bond in alcohol. And this proton is transferred to this OH group to form OH2+. And in this way this OH will be released as water molecule H2O. So carboxylic acid will remove or release OH. Alcohol will release H+. Plus and the product from this ester. So in this reaction, we will conclude in this esterification reaction where acid and alcohol are reacting with each other in presence of acidic medium. First, the reaction is reversible. Second, acid will give OH and alcohol will give H plus. And this reaction is proved by carbon dating process. So, in this way, esterification results, formation of fruity smell compound, ester. Next, we will take reaction due to cleavage of CO bond, where this carbon atom will act as electrophilic center. The reactions that we will take here, Reaction with hydrogen halide with PCl3, B, C with PCl5, D, Dargen's reaction and E, dehydration of alcohol that is removal of water. All the first four reactions that is HX, PCl3, PCl5 and Dargen's reaction we have done for preparation of alkyl halide. So we are revising those reactions here. First, we will take reaction with HX. We are taking HCl and ZnCl2 that is known as Lucas reagent. It is the distinguished test of 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree alcohol. ROH reacts with HCl in presence of zinc chloride catalyst. The product formed is RCl plus H2O. There will be turbidity due to this alkyl chloride. If the alcohol that we use, if it is 3 degree, then there will be immediate turbidity. If the alcohol is 2 degree, it will take 5 minutes for turbidity formation. And 1 degree alcohol, the turbidity will appear after half an hour. B, we will take reaction with PCl3, phosphorus trichloride, reacts with 3 moles of alcohol, OH will be replaced by Cl, cleavage of CO bond is there. The product formed is 3 moles of RCl along with phosphorus acid that is POH thrice. These 3 OH will be removed. And next we will take C that is PCl5, phosphorus pentachloride. ROH reacts with PCl5 then First bond that is formation of the product 
cleavage of this RO bond results RCl molecule. Second OH bond results HCl molecule. And then further it is P double bond O. Two bonds are break of this PCl5 molecule. So it will form two bond with oxygen atom that is P double bond O Cl3 phosphorus oxychloride. The product are R Cl, HCl and POCl3. Next we will take Dargen's reaction. Reaction of alcohol with sulfonyl chloride that is SOCl2 in presence of pyridine that is the base. Then the product formed is ROH plus SOCl2 RCl second HCl and the byproduct is SO2 that is gaseous byproduct. It will be removed hydrochloric acid that is acid it will react with pyridine to form salt acid and base will form salt and in this way there will be best yield of alkyl chloride by Dargen's reaction. Next we will take dehydration of alcohol. For dehydration we will use dehydrating agent that is for removal of water, concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid that is S3PO4 or anhydrous zinc chloride or alumina. In dehydration reaction, this is the carbon atom that is having OH group, alpha carbon atom. And the adjacent carbon atom to this alpha carbon is beta carbon atom. In dehydration reaction, OH group will move from this alpha carbon atom and hydrogen will be eliminated from beta carbon. So again it is beta elimination reaction and removal of water molecule that is by cleavage of two sigma bond to form a new pi bond and the product formed is alkene. Now if we take one degree alcohol like we have taken ethanol then we use strong dehydrating agent like concentrated H2SO4 at high temperature that is 443 Kelvin temperature and the product formed is ethene along with water molecule. If we take 2 degree alcohol that is propane 2 all it require mild condition 85% H3PO4 and temperature is again decreased to 440 Kelvin and the product formed is propene along with water. And if we take 3 degree alcohol, that is tertiary butyl alcohol, condition will become more milder, 20% H3PO4 and the temperature will decrease from 440 to 358 Kelvin. And the product formed is 2-methyl propene along with byproduct water. The reason for selecting strong dehydrating agent for 1 degree alcohol and for 2 degree and 3 degree alcohol we are taking milder condition for dehydration. The reason is in case of 3 degree alcohol this is 3 degree carbonium ion is formed and in case of 2 degree alcohol this 2 degree carbonium ion is formed that is isopropyl carbonium ion. More stable carbonium ion is 3 degree carbonium ion. So stability is more in 3 degree carbonium ion than 2 degree and then 1 degree. As 3 degree alcohol is forming more stable carbonium ion. So more rearrangement is possible in 3 degree alcohol. So it is more reactive for dehydration reaction. That's why milder conditions are required for 3 degree alcohol and stronger conditions are required for 1 degree alcohol. So the reactivity is 3 degree alcohol, 2 degree alcohol and minimum reactivity towards dehydration reaction or elimination reaction is 1 degree alcohol. Now we will take mechanism of dehydration of alcohol. Acid will completely ionize. We are taking strong acid to give H plus and hydrogen sulfate ion. Now first step is protonation of alcohol. 
H plus is act as electrophile and oxygen atom of alcohol will act as nucleophile. So there will be protonation of this OH group to form oxonium ion that is CH3, CH2, OH2 plus. Second step that is formation of carbocation. Now this oxonium ion due to positive charge on this oxygen atom it will cleave from CO bond and water molecule is formed as a byproduct. CO bond shared pair of electron will be taken away by this oxygen atom which is more electronegative by leaving behind positive charge and carbonium ion is formed as intermediate in slow step that is CH3 CH2 plus 1 degree carbonium ion it is. Next third step is elimination of proton to form alkene. Now this positively charged carbon atom adjacent to this beta hydrogen. This beta hydrogen will be removed by leaving the shared pair of electron on carbon atom and in this way negative charge density will be remaining on this carbon atom. This negative charge will move from this negatively charged carbon to positively charged carbon atom by forming pi bond and alkene or ethene is formed and the byproduct is H plus. The reaction will further proceed with protonation of alcohol, formation of carbocation and then elimination of beta hydrogen to form alkene. Reaction is similar to beta elimination of alkyl halide. If we take the reaction molecule that is 3-methyl-butanol, in this molecule we are removing OH, then there will be positive charge on the carbon atom, 1 degree carbonium ion will be forming here and this 1 degree carbonium ion by hydrogen shift can change into 3 degree carbonium ion that is CH3, C, CH3, CH2, CH3 and now formation of more substituted alkene will be followed as per Sergeff rule and the product formed is by removal of proton is 2-methyl-butene. So basically beta elimination is followed by Sergeff rule. Now we will take oxidation of alcohol. Alcohol that is CHOH group is there. Hydrogen of OH bond and the carbon atom on which OH group is there. Hydrogen on that carbon atom. So in overall two sigma bond are break as shown in the square bracket. In presence of oxidizing agent pi bond is formed and the product is carbonyl group. Alcohol by oxidizing agent oxidizes into aldehydic or ketonic group further oxidizes into acid. If we take stepwise oxidation that is from alcohol to aldehyde or ketone then we will use chromium oxide further aldehyde or ketone in presence of chromium oxide changes into or oxidize into corresponding acid. If we oxidize alcohol directly into acid then we will use strong oxidizing agent like alkaline KMnO4 or acidic potassium dichromate. Moreover if we want to stop our oxidation from 1 degree alcohol to aldehyde only then we will use selective oxidizing agent that is PCC pyridine chlorochromate that is chromium oxide hydrochloric acid and pyridine this PCC will recognize OH group of 1 degree alcohol and the oxidation will stop to aldehyde like if we take 2 butanol in presence of PCC this OH group of 1 degree alcohol will oxidize into CHO group and the product formed is but2-enal commonly known as crotonaldehyde. OH group is oxidizes 
by PCC into CHO group. PCC will recognize only this one degree alcohol. It will not oxidize this double bond. Next, if we take one degree alcohol that is RCH2OH, OH group hydrogen and the carbon atom on which this OH group is there, hydrogen from that carbon atom. So these two hydrogen will be removed that is oxidation. Removal of hydrogen is oxidation. By chromium oxide the product formed is aldehyde that is further oxidized into corresponding acid of same number of carbon atom. If 1 degree alcohol is there as shown there in the cloud, 1 degree alcohol is there then it will oxidize into aldehyde and the aldehyde will oxidize to same number of carbon atom acid. And if we take 2 degree alcohol that is RR-CHOH, these two hydrogen atom will be removed, one hydrogen from OH group and the another hydrogen that is from alcoholic carbon atom formation of pi bond between carbon and oxygen atom and the product formed is ketone. So 2 degree alcohol will oxidize into ketone and the ketone further vigorous condition oxidation will result less number of carbon atom acid. If we take 3 degree alcohol, 3 degree alcohol will moreover will go for elimination reaction and 3 degree alcohol not easily oxidized but if we use very strong condition then we will get mixture of acids. Next we will take dehydrogenation of alcohol. When vapors of 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree alcohol are passed over heated copper, silver or gold at 573 Kelvin temperature, dehydrogenation that is removal of hydrogen will take place. 1 degree alcohol will form aldehyde, 2 degree alcohol will form ketone and 3 degree alcohol will form alkene. If we take 1 degree alcohol that is RCH2OH, hydrogen from OH bond and alcoholic carbon atom hydrogen, 2 hydrogen atom will be removed by breaking of 2 sigma bond and 1 pi bond is formed between carbon and oxygen to form RC double bond OH that is aldehyde on heated copper at 573 Kelvin temperature. If we take 2 degree alcohol that is RCHR-OH then hydrogen of OH and CH bond hydrogen 2 sigma bond will be break to form 1 pi bond between carbon and oxygen and the product formed is ketone that is RC double bond OR dash from 2 degree alcohol. And if we take 3 degree alcohol that is tertiary butyl alcohol, it will form stable carbonium ion by removal of this OH group. By removal of OH group, 3 degree stable carbonium ion will go for eliminated product and more substituted alkene that is 2 methylpropene is formed by elimination of 3 degree alcohol.